seek facts and the things that are yours step by step. Okay, hello. The first thing you have to do is to create a thing at the things that are your platform. How? You just log in using your username and your password and you will go to the dashboard. When you're in the dashboard, go to Things Manager and create a new IoT product. Put the name of your product. Here, in the format, you can choose between JSON, Message Pack, Protocol Buffer and Sigfox. Choose Sigfox and then create the thing. When you have created the thing, you have to click on it and go to Product Settings. Make sure your serialization format is Sigfox. Below it, you will have a subscription URL. You have to copy the whole link and go to the Sigfox portal. When you are in the Sigfox backend, the callback system enables you to use the things.io callback URL that lets the things.io backend receive the Sigfox device messages. The configuration of callbacks is done in the device in the device type page. The callbacks are triggered when a new device message is received or when a device communication loss has been detected. When you're here, go to device type, choose your thing and go to callbacks right on your left. In callbacks, Choose new and introduce the URL you have copied from the things that I Make sure you click use HTTP post and then click OK. We go back to the things that are your panel, but this time we have to move to cloud code. Here, go to Functions and then choose Edit. Here, you will have to introduce the code and the function that parses the Sigfox data on the JSON array that our platform needs. And that's it! Don't forget to follow us on Twitter or create a new account to connect a thing with the things that I own Sigfox in less than 3 minutes. Thanks for watching.